the mental you know, hurdles, it took a toll. I think guys felt really exhausted, and rightfully so. They were, um, they were mentally drained from all the things that were happening. The Major League Baseball season was not only being played in a pandemic caused by COVID-19, but it was also being played under the backdrop of racial injustice in our country. Keep up! Alive! George Floyd! George Floyd! Now the George Floyd! Now the George Floyd! It's an issue that predates 2020, but it was resonating differently, where nationwide protests were crossing over into sports. The top story in Major League Baseball tonight, three Major League Baseball games postponed today in protest of the police shooting of Jacob Blake and several high-profile Major League Baseball players electing not to play, including Cubs outfielder Jason Hayward. We just got to keep bringing awareness. This is our livelihood. This is what's going on, on in our community. So. Yeah, I feel like I need to be a part of it or else I'm going back on my word. Personally, just as a black person growing up in Georgia, you know, we were very hesitant to speak up on certain things because you wanted to move forward. You always felt like and were made to feel like progress didn't come from speaking up on issues that you have. It felt like you're complaining. We no longer are second guessing that and we're choosing to speak up. We're not comfortable with oh, well, let's just turn on a baseball game and then we can forget about all this and it'll go away. You know, that's not what we want. To someone who's known Jason Hayward a, a really long time, what sort of uh, empathy or sympathy do you feel at a, a time like this? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's... Yeah, I can't even imagine what he's going through. It felt like hitting your head against the wall. But I think my job is to say, hey, we have an issue here. We're asking for help. We're not asking for anything other than just stop doing things that don't make common sense. Do right, don't do wrong. It was trying times and it was growing times for all of us. But at the end of the day, we all united as one for our common goal, and that's end racism in our country. We followed Jay Hayes' lead really this year and um, been able to be a part of Major League's effort for social justice and I think it's just the beginning of that so I think a lot of us are learning and um, there's a lot of positive that can come out of that. Hayward not only used his voice to inspire change but also followed up with his actions helping bring together black youth and police officers to address racial inequalities. Fortunately I was able to get involved with some good people in the city of Chicago the healing circles, getting together and talking. It was humbling just to listen, hear police officers tell their side, have the kids tell their side, let them ask questions, let them share fears, let the police officers also share their fears, and let them be able to say that, look, we understand there's a problem and we want to do better. I think my job is to use my platform to make it okay and show that everyone is accepted here. Hayward's commitment to racial equality, as well as his generous donations to help low-income communities in Chicago, earned him a nomination for Major League Baseball's Roberto Clemente Award, given annually to the player that understands the value of giving back. He not only has a genuine care and concern for communities and communities of color in particular, but he has an unbelievable heart and it shines. I think the Cubs organization, Chicago Cubs are doing everything they can to back myself up, my teammates, people in the black community. We gotta keep doing our part to let them know, hey, we're not comfortable here. To me, that means equality. That means ending racism. That means that we're all in this together and not just saying it. Sports has the power to be able to help us all heal from this. Sport is inherently an inclusive community builder. And we need to actually elevate the power of that right now during this pandemic more than ever. Just want to continue to be a great influence. We want them to see that athletes do care and 
just want to influence communities, influence the world, and feel the reality of what we're making an impact on. If you're watching this, click the subscribe button now.